Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to World Market and this is in Appleton, Wisconsin um, that is very close to the mall, the Fox River Mall to be exact in Appleton where the infamous Bath and Body Works lies sleeping. I have not been back there. I lie. I have been back there, but I'm not going anytime soon. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived at World Market, and we're going to go inside. I want to see if they have any of their fall decor or anything like that. Um, lots of stores are getting in all of their fall merchandise, and I'm living for it, you guys. My birthday is 10-10. And I just love fall. I love the cooler weather that we're getting. Um, here in Wisconsin, I woke up this morning and it was only 60 degrees. So let's go into the store. We have some greeting cards that greeted us. And here we have some reeds. Um, this one is interesting. A little grassy moment there. I can't find my glasses. So I believe this said $29.99. You guys, these prices on all of these items were so tiny and I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I have no idea um, what the prices are on, I will say, the majority of these pieces that we look at today, but that's okay because I'm still, you know, shaking the grass, bringing it to you guys. Here are some more candles. You guys, they had candles so many so many to choose from. Um, it was actually overwhelming for me. And then they also had some faux plants, which we'll see in a little bit. Um, here they had a lavender grow kit and a mushroom grow kit. And look at, look at that hanging plant. I can't remember the name of that plant, but I remember I was on the hunt for it a while ago and I couldn't find one. And then I just decided against it, like a real one. Here we have some mists, like some room mists. And I sprayed it and I couldn't smell it. But you know what, you guys? I woke up this morning not feeling well. My nose is a little plugged, although um, it's allergy season all of a sudden now here in Wisconsin. So it could be allergies, but like my nose is a little plugged. My body's a little achy and I feel a little hot. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that and we'll probably do a test um, after I do this voiceover. But aren't those little glass things cute? What would you put in there? You would hang it up, but what would you put in? So here's all the macrame hangings. They have beautiful pieces. Uh, they're very big and large and in charge. Here we have a butterfly hanging scroll. Super beautiful. I was actually thinking about getting that for my daughter, but what is the price on this puppy? I can't freaking see it. It's just, I can't, I don't know. If you guys saw the price of that, because my glasses are being funky, leave a comment down below and let me know how much that was. Because I'm thinking about getting that for my daughter for her office at work. So here we have some global finds. And I believe that's an alpaca. I don't know. I think this is like Indian stuff or maybe African stuff. I don't know. But there's a nice keychain, a little rainbow keychain, living for that moment. And then I was just kind of, you know, browsing. Um, they had these little hanging things, which I do have a spot in my apartment where it's like the end of a wall and like the space is super thin where I could put those, but I decided against it. Here we have some bath salts. Or those like bath cubes and some bath bombs. They had tons of those. And then here we have some face masks. If you guys are interested in those. I'm like face masked like to the max. Like I have so many face masks and I never use them. So I'm just like whatever. Look at that swan plate for your jewelry. That looks really pretty. And then... 
we're just going to keep on walking. Now, I did notice these dresses, which I'm really liking the print of these. They're kind of earthy, but then again, like not too hippie. You know what I mean? So they have like a hippie vibe, but they're not like a true import store vibe. If you catch my vibe. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, here we have this little end table for $199.99. And then this one where it tells you the numbers of the drawers. I don't know. Here's an Instagram moment. These furniture things or like decor type things kind of remind me of the old school Kirklands. If you guys want me to go to Kirklands, leave a comment down below. Here's my wine that I always buy. I buy that blue bottle. One of my friends who lives in Detroit, he turned me on to that wine and that's what I've been drinking. Oh no, my throat is sore. Okay, so here we have this big clearance section. Um, Just kind of looking around a bit, seeing what they had. They have some lotions, more bath salts, this little canister that was like silicone cute but don't really need it more bath salts and then they also had some um what is this like a face tonic fa facial serum I don't use a facial serum so I was just like okay pillows and these little vases 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 whatever I think those were for something I don't know I couldn't see and then they had a peanuts journal. They had a bunch of little notebooks there that you could choose from. All different kinds of... Camilla! They had Camilla. She do a... Camilla, what do you do a... You know, oh, I'm not going to get into politics. But I was just going to... I just want to say one thing. I haven't seen Camilla since, since she was sworn in. I have not seen that woman. Where is she hiding? She's probably going shopping too. So here we have scarves, beautiful scarves. If I were a scarf girl, I would come here. Those are really pretty. I like this one. Um, I can't see. I can't see the price. $14, I want to say. I don't know, which is kind of pricey for a scarf, but those were really good quality ones. Like they were super... Um, thick you know really good ones there's some purple flowers what else do we have here some rugs some placemats and more clothes here we have the like natural looking a, two, a nice two-piece set some dresses some robes maybe these were pajamas I don't know but they're like super beautiful loungy wear really pretty I thought you know like you could go out shopping in those and more more of those things. I don't know. Um, what else? Linen spray. I also found by the Beekman boys. Remember those guys with the goats? Um, they had this dog spray, like odor, odors for dogs. I don't think you can like spray it on your dog, but I guess like if your dog smells like dookie, you could spray it around your dog. I don't know. I would never. I don't know what that is. Here we have some teas. Um, and chocolates, some really nice, nice foodie stuff. I will say for World Market, they are always stocked on the teas, the coffees, and the snacks, and like the international foods. So if you guys are interested in buying foods like from Japan or China or German, or Swiss, or whatever, come here. So here they have the teas. Interesting. Some cinnamon tea there. Um, and now we're going to get into, I believe, the candies and the snacks. So this is the part, obviously, I love because you guys know I'm all in for a snack moment. There we have the mochi, which I've never tried mochi before. So I always thought that mochi needed to be refrigerated. Apparently not. 
Um, then we have the Kit Kats, all the different types of Kit Kats that you can get. I believe these were $5.99. Kind of pricey for, you know, a candy bar. Yeah, $5.99. I mean, obviously, yeah, it's a big candy bar, but from what I'm seeing, it looked like four individual candy bars. So I would assume like four bucks would have been sufficient, but whatever. Um, here we have some baked goods, banana macadamia nut bread mix, some Bailey's brownie mix. Never seen that before. That looked really good. Oh no, my nose. And you guys look, you know, the coffee shop that I used to love um, they used to carry these scone mixes and they have them here at Home Goods. So now I can just get them here at, or not Home Goods. I'm sorry, at World Market. So I can just get them here at World Market and be set to go. And they had such a big variety of the scone mixes, any kind of scones, any kind of biscuits. They had tons of them there. They had a little Mars bar, which I thought was kind of interesting. Maybe it was different packaging or something. I don't know, different chocolate bars they have there. Any any kind of flavor you could possibly think of. They have cookies and and breads, different like little wafer cookies. Um let's see what else do they have going on here. Um I've seen these cookies before somewhere. I can't remember where. Oh yeah, and then they had like pastries. So there was this marble sponge cake. I believe it was like 55% off. And you guys, it was definitely the M word. I won't say it because you guys get triggered when I say it, but it looked very M word. So I just want to put that out there. Yeah, I think all of these things were on sale. All these little pastries. This one looked good too. The little chocolate bread. I've never seen that before in my life. Um, and I really wanted that. Here we have the macaron cookies or whatever. And then the snaps. Um, which you guys can buy that at Big Lots. Here they have the maple cookies, you guys. The maple cream sandwich cookies from Canada. First of all, the packaging on there is so beautiful. And I just have to like talk about those cookies. They're so good. They're so good. Here we had some like snacks that you would eat while eating or drinking beer. So like the crackers, the the beer nuts, the, you know, the pretzel stuff, that kind of stuff. All different types of flavors going on there that you wouldn't find in the regular stores. Here it looks like they had some Hello Kitty stuff. Hello Kitty little snackies. Then they had wasabi peas, mixed crackers. Um, here they had some Hello Kitty rice crackers. I believe they were like little rice cakes. Those were kind of cute. Put some peanut butter on there and give those to your kids. You guys, I am not feeling well. My eyes are watering even now. Oh, no. Oh, here we have our noodles. Our noodles from Japan. Um, the curry. Um, yeah, all different kinds of stuff. There we have ramen. All different flavors of ramen. Um, ones that I haven't seen before. And, yeah. I should have taken pictures and shown my daughter. She's obsessed with different kinds of ramen. Like she loves it. I'm really not into it. I feel like there's too much sodium in there. Here we have some meat. Bagged up meat, I think. I don't know, you guys. So bizarre. It was expensive. It's very, very expensive. But yeah, I, I don't really like the ramen. I mean, partially, yeah, because of the sodium. I just feel like there's too much sodium in there. And, oh, look at the wieners. Look at those wieners. Those sausages in those containers. Oh, and then they have the soups. I do like a good bagged soup mix. Um, We can get these at the bread store, like, at Great Harvest. But, yeah, and you can also order them. I think, like, um, kids have, what do you call it, like, fundraisers for those soups, right? I don't know. 
or am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. Here we got some cheese. I don't understand why this is not refrigerated, but apparently you don't need to refrigerate cheese nowadays, so go for it. Um, some Sonoma crackers. You guys saw the fondue kit before. Here we have all of the pasta and the pasta sauce. Oh my God, you guys. And what's that? What is that? What was that? Was that like, what was that? Was that cheese? What was that? Oh, and here they have all of the coffee syrups, all of the, plus pumpkin, caramel. Well, here's caramel. We, we see pumpkin later, but yeah, for eight something, all of the caramels or all of the syrups for the coffees, they also had these, um, online for that certain coffee company. Um, but now you can just buy them here. You can buy them at World Market and you won't have to order online. You can just get them here if you have a, a World Market by you. They also had Hello Kitty Soda Pop. Do you guys call it soda? Do you guys call it pop? Cola? We call it Soda Pop. Here they had the bubble tea. Some people just call it like one or the other, like soda. Give me some pop. I think pop is like a Wisconsin thing. A Wisconsin uh, Minnesota thing, but here we have almost gone up to 55% off. They had more pastries, more cookies, um, hot pepper vinegar chips. Interesting. Then they had these purple cookies. Yubi, Yubi cookies. Never heard of them. Never have seen them in my life. They had the M word lemon sponge cake. Don't worry, I won't say it. I won't say that M word, although I want to say it. I want to say it. There they have some pork rinds. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the M word. Oh, look at you guys. All the little nuts, like the little, um, oh, what do you call it? Like trail mixy type of situation. Here they had dried fruit. Lots of dried fruit. There's some dried ginger. I've never had that before. I'd be interested to try that. They had some coconut, like shaved coconut, which you can get that at Costco now too, the organic stuff. They had Jack Daniels, little uh, crackers, animal crackers, animal cookies, animal crackers in my soup, monkeys and rabbits, loop de loop, popcorn. Now, this popcorn reminded me of, like, Cracker Jack popcorn. I don't like Cracker Jacks. I never have. I never will. It's the quoting on them, like, on the kernels that really, it, like, freaks me out. Like, I can't eat it. It's not, like, real caramel corn. Like, when you bite into caramel corn, you want to get, like, a little bit crunchy, a little bit chewy as well with, like, the sugar mixed with the salt. And I don't get that with 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 that kind of stuff. And this popcorn looked exactly the same. Okay, onto the pillows. I couldn't find the price. I said, fuck it, I'm out. So I'm now walking on. Just walking on, looking at some of the furniture. Here we had the front display. Um, more popcorn for $7.99. They had the pumpkin cheesecake crunch, butter rum crunch, all the different crunches in all the different lands. Here we had some pumpkin quick bread, um, some butter, what was that? Buttered, what was that? Pumpkin something, I don't know, cinnamon rolls, more scones. They had pumpkin scone mix, which I thought looked appetizing. Some raspberries, cranberries. I was going to get the, the pumpkin, but then I put it back. But you know what, you guys? I might go back to the store and get it. Um, They also had some of that pumpkin spread, which is really good. They have that at the Little Farmer, and it is so good. There are those cookies again. You guys, those cookies are so good. If you are on the fence about getting them, just don't even think about it and get them. They taste amazing. They're so good dipped in like hot coffee in the morning on a cool, crisp day. Oh my God, they're 
so good. So I did find some fall stuff up here. They did have some fall decor items. Um, they had this little hanging thing, this one with the pumpkins, and I believe there's some squirrels. Yep, squirrels and mushrooms. Mushrooms are really big this year. I've been seeing tons of mushrooms all over the place. There we've got some more mushrooms, some little like woodland animals, um, pumpkin. There's, a, oh, I'm so sick of those damn pumpkins. See them everywhere. Here's the woodland animals. I think these are super cute. Now, they weren't on sale, so I was kind of bummed about that, but these little mushrooms are cute too. But yeah, I noticed a theme going on here with these mushrooms. I feel like, um, I feel like I've been seeing them a lot of other places just besides here. I know Walmart had them. Um, I saw some mushrooms at, oh, sorry about the truck in the background. I saw some mushrooms at, um, Home Goods, just, you know, oh, Hobby Lobby. I saw mushrooms there too. So here we are just leaving the store. Um, I did find some plates. I believe these were $7.99. Cute little plates. I wish they would sell them in a whole big set though, like a set of four or set of six. That would be nice. You wouldn't have to buy each individual plate because that can get to be very expensive. Some butternut squash. Look at those little mushroom um, little holders for your, for your cup or for your spoon or something. Here they had a lot of teas as well. Tea sounds really good for me right now in my throat. Oh my God, you guys. Then we have the coffees. Here we have some pumpkin sauce. Some pumpkin caramel sauce. Yeah, pumpkin pie flavored sauce. So good. If you guys haven't tried that, you're really missing out. It's amazing. There we have some sponge cake again in the pumpkin. Different pumpkin truffles. Pumpkin spice cream. Um, chocolate. Some scones biscottis, anything that you could possibly imagine that is flavored pumpkin, they have. So here we go. I'm headed up to the front of the store. I didn't make any purchases this time around. Here we have some interesting little sodas, I believe. There's my wine again. There's my wine. Maybe I'll just open that up and start chugging away. I don't have work tomorrow. So that is always a possibility. Mm -hmm. Some pocket straws. There's a mushroom. A little mushroom cleaner. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for shopping with me at World Market today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more of whatever the fuck I'm doing on here because I have no idea. I will see you guys all later. Thumbs up this video and I hope everyone stays happy and healthy. God bless you all.